Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi, please be sure to keep my name anonymous. You have the most common name in the United States. You're gonna be anonymous. I can't, I can't do Bob Wrights, his name's not Bob. I'm keeping him anonymous, but Phil Wrights. No one's gonna know who you are. You can do a video of a clear test on Reverend Sum Young Moon. Okay, that sounds like a, a Korean name. Let's copy that. Let's paste it in the old Wikipedia. So no moon. Wow, how old is he? He looks very old. Oh, born now. Oh, he died. Okay. Oh, North Korean. Died South Korean. Oh, he made it out. He made it out. He was born in 1920 in North Pyongyang, North Korea, which there was no North Korea back then. It was just Korea. Interesting. All right, this would be uh, interesting. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he lived uh, to 92? 20? Do I do my math right? Yeah, he lived to 92. Those Asians, man, they live a long time. Drive slow in left lane. Go 40 miles per hour. Ho, ho, ho. Cargo vroom, vroom. Live 98 year old. Is that racist? Yes. Yes, it is. Horrifically. Horrifically. There's a sand company over there, and you can take that. You can buy some sand, and you can put it in your vagina if that offended you. All right, let's get let's uh, let's knock it off now. Sam Young Moon was a Korean religious leader, also known for his business ventures to support for political causes. A Messiah claimant, he was the founder of the Unification Movement, and is it is widely noted blessing or mass wedding ceremony, and the author of its unique theology, Divine Principle. He was an opponent of communism, he's aces in my book, and an advocate of Korean reunification for which he was recognized by the governments of both North and South Korea. Okay, I may just want his country back. Businesses he promoted included News World Communications, an international news media corporation known for its American subsidiary, the Washington Times, and Tanjil Group, a South Korean business group, Chable. Oh, the Chable's still around? Are they still here? Uh, Moon was born in what is now North Korea. When he was a child, his family converted to Christianity. In 1947, he was convicted by the North Korean government. <laughs> God, I hate you, communist. For spying for South Korea and given a five-year sentence to the Hung Man labor camp. In 1954, he, found the Holy, he founded the Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity in Seoul, South Korea, based on conservative family-oriented teachings. From new interpretations of the Bible, 1971, he moved to the United States, became well known for giving him blah, 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 blah. 82, United States citizen, and I was found guilty of willfully filing false federal income tax returns and sentenced to 18 months in federal prison. <laughs> Maybe I don't like him so much anymore. Case generated protests from clergy and civil libertarians who said that the trial was biased against him. Uh, Chris for making high demands of his followers, his wedding ceremonies also drew criticism, especially after they involved members of other churches. Ba ba ba. Okay, okay, all right, all right, whatever. Uh, born 1920, when Korea was under Japanese rule. Interesting. I didn't know Japan ruled Korea back in the 1920s. Younger of two sons and a family of eight children, uh, they moved. Moon's family followed Confucianist beliefs until he was around 10 years old when they converted to Christianity and joined the Presbyterian Church. 41, Moon studied electrical engineering. God damn, man, okay. During this time, he cooperated with the Communist Party members in the Korean independence movements against Imperial Japan. I guess if you gotta choose, see, there's a, that, that theme will come up a lot. A lot of you hate communism, and I'll agree with you on that, but, uh, if the right ever got its shit together and stopped having these dictatorial imperialist assholes, look at Cuba. You know, there's Batista. Oh, why, why did communism form? Well, communism didn't form because Cuba was this great meritocracy. There was this 
right-wing asshole that was not meritocratic. Uh, and it was the buddy-buddy system. But you Republicans will never, ever go that way. These are a bunch of douchebags. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So he didn't come from wealth. I'm just saying he didn't come from wealth. Uh, he didn't major in stupid shit. So married... So I'm just reading. Oh, in the 1940s, he claimed he had been given by Jesus the mission to spread the message of a new Israel throughout the world. And around this time, Moon changed his name to Sun Young. Following World War II, Korea divided. Ba -ba -ba. Pyongyang was the center of Christian activity in Korea until 1945. From the late 40s, they were killed. The concentration camps. Moon convicted by North Korean government. He's anti communist. Alright, so he's in the church. This is all over the place, isn't it? I think he started out right, and because of the constantly Chaotic. That's the only way to describe his environment. Chaotic. Ah, the Japanese. Ah, the American. Ah, the Chinese. Ah, the North Koreans. Ah, communist. Ah, so. He started off right. Did not come from wealth. Majored in the right thing. Suffered as a priest. He did real work. I'm going to give him real work on that. He did do real work. But then, what did he do? He became basically, I'm going to call it a government guy. Um, he became non-profit, so I'm going, to, I'm going to award him a point there. So he gets a score of one. Uh, would I like to have a beer with him? Yes, I would. I would like to have a beer with him. I, because how do you, how, that guy has way more experience. Completely unhinged from this simple uh, spectrum I painted with the Clary test. I don't think he really fits well into the Clary test. Should he run for government? No, but I would definitely consider him an advisor. I don't think he should run for... I, I'm very reluctant to have religious leaders run for office because they're, as it should be, their predominant loyalty lies with the religion. Well, that doesn't work in a secular, multi-religious society, a free society where other people, you know, like, well, okay, all right, all right, hang on there, Mr. Jew. Yeah, there's some Christians and Muslims and agnostics over here. Maybe you ought to... No, we got... I don't even know what the Jews believe. I looked it up one time and they say, We don't even know if he believe. Ah, matzo ball soup, maybe. I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, never mind. Yahweh. All right. Um, I don't think he should run for office. Well, he's dead now. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to have a beer with him. Yeah, so he gets a point of one. I think maybe he got corrupted along the way. How do you not pay your taxes? <laughs> maybe you said just majored in finance. Maybe it's because me and Chad Alkins hang out. I was like, yeah, maybe you want to pay. You know, there's the mafia and there's the IRS. And if I got to pay one person or the other, I'm going to pay the IRS. <laughs> All right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.